Welcome to Pix TV. This is another lesson under General Chemistry 2. This is your host, Dr. Glenn Michael Jameson Picaro. Our topic here is about chemical geometry or most commonly called as molecular I mean molecular geometry. Hello everyone again. Welcome to Pix TV. Today we're going to talk about chemical geometry, which is also known as molecular geometry. This concept helps us understand how atoms in a molecule are arranged in 3D or three-dimensional space, influencing everything from physical properties to reactivity. So, in this moment on, you have to memorize what we call the VSEPR or the valence shell electron pair repulsion theory in fundamental uh, chemistry, which is very important in predicting the geometry of molecules. It states that electron pairs around a central atom will arrange themselves as far apart as possible to minimize repulsion resulting in different molecular shapes. So let's have an example here. So in the case of H2 or hydrogen, it's under the generic for generic formula ax where a is the central atom x it's an atom and whenever there is a lone pair it would be designated as e so for the h2 it's the bonded atoms are one since there is an only there's only two i mean one kind of atom here two hydrogen the lone pair is zero, zero molecular shape it's under linear electron geometry it's still linear and an example would be H2, the hybrid, hybridized um, subshell here is S, the band angle is 180 degrees, so I have a circle. Let's have another example here. In the case of the bent molecular shape for the selenium bromide here, the generic formula is AX2E2, so meaning there are two bonded atoms here and two lone pairs so it's under the bent molecular shape it's electron geometry is called a tetrahedral so what do we call the hybridization here so s pertains to one plus three so actually we have four electron subshells here so sp3 hybridization the band angle is less than the hydrogen earlier so it's 109.5 the representation of the bsepr theory chart from the from the domains or the number of electron groups two hanggang six when we have the fifth and sixth domain or the number of electron groups there is what we call the trigonal bipyramidal and there's one lone pair it's called a c so two lone pairs T shape, then lone pairs three. It would be a linear atom. Uh, I mean linear molecule. And if we have six, it would be octahedral. If we have three lone pairs, it's called a T shape. Two lone pairs, square, planar here. So take a look on this one. The lone pair is designated as this one. And again, this one. That's why it's. If we if use the representation earlier, it would be A X four E two, so it's still under the octahedral electron geometry. So some molecular geometries are more common than others, which include our linear, trigonal, planar, tetrahedral trigonal, bipyramidal, and octahedral. Each geometry is based on the number of electron pairs surrounding the central atom, influencing the, mole the molecule's overall shape, and also the electron pairs or the lone pairs. What's the importance of knowing about geometry? The geometry of a molecule affects its physical properties like boiling points and melting points as well as its polarity and intermolecular forces which we have discussed in our early earlier topics for instance the bent shape of water
water leads to hydrogen bonding, making it a liquid at room temperature. It is also important in terms of biology, especially when talking about biological molecules. The 3D shape of biological molecules like proteins and DNA dic dictates their functions and interactions. Misfolding or changes in shape can lead to diseases highlighting the importance of geometry in biological systems. Conclusion, understanding chemical geometry allows us to predict how molecules will interact and behave, whether in industrial applications, daily life, or biological systems, the 3D or the three-dimensional arrangement of atoms or its molecular or chemical geometry is a key to chemistry and beyond. Okay, we are now at the end of our video lesson. Just like our previous video lessons, we have our own exit cards. Just write the things or conclusions about what you have learned about the topic and also what questions are you going to ask the teacher. You can post this in the comment section of our YouTube video. Lagin tandaan sa PIX TV. Panalo ang natuto.